Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angela 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things here before we get started. If you're new to my channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. Um, there will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you. I treat it like a personal reading. If your person shows up, I will ask what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. All right. Uh, secondly, I am giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter the giveaway, you just need to uh, be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will announce the winner the first week of every month. So with that, let's get started with your reading here, Scorpio. So let's see what the energy is here for Scorpio. All right. Okay. Truth be told here. All right. Number 14, which is five. Let's see what else we get. We have imagine, which is number two. These numbers may be important to you. You may see synchronicities of these numbers it may validate this message here today and you also have here observer number 49 which is 13 which is four okay so we have two four and five okay you know what i'm really picking up here and look at that a change in the wind all right I feel like there's something here about to change, uh, Scorpio, and I almost feel like it's an energy like you have to see it to believe it is how maybe you're feeling about it. I feel like, too, um, there's something here around maybe you're needing somebody to be open or truthful about something, right, definitely in a love situation or connection so i am picking up this is somebody that you already know you also have here imagine okay so i feel like this is two things i feel like you maybe be trying to make a decision here about love but i also feel like here you're trying to imagine the possibilities okay so that can mean a lot of different things that can mean about your current love situation maybe making some decisions about that maybe you know about other people or possibilities um but i feel like really here with this observer card you're really paying attention it's almost like you're paying attention to the details right you're paying attention um you know to whatever it is because this um i forgot what they call that a, a telescope <laughs> a telescope is looking at the moon right and this person here is reaching for the moon so i feel like you're really going to pay attention to this situation about this person here um i feel like there's something specific here that you're looking for this person to do or change and i feel here it's around honesty truth maybe just being real with you maybe opening up right about their feelings but let's see um let's see here and i reverse the cards Let's see what the energy shows with your tarot. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Scorpio? What's the energy here for Scorpio? Please show Scorpio what they need to know. What does Scorpio need to know? All right. Okay. Ace of Wands. All right. Feels like a very intense connection here. A lot of passion, I feel see what else we have we have the emperor could be dealing with an aries we have the tower all right definitely feels like something intense going on there with that tower too but let's see what else we have we have the chariot strong cancerian energy we have the star a lot of major arcana cards coming out here uh strong aquarius and we have the seven of wands and bottom of the deck here, we have the two of coin. All right. Okay. I feel, Scorpio, what first one I'm picking up, I feel like this is a connection between you and somebody that took off pretty quickly here with this Ace of Wands and the Chariot card. It feels like this was a very intense connection and I feel like things were moving really 
quite quickly with this person, I feel, okay, when you met this person. Uh, I feel like you saw potential there, right? Growth here in the connection. Now you have the Emperor here and you have the Star card, okay? So I feel like you're dealing with somebody here. Um, I feel like the truth be told card is this is someone I feel who hasn't completely shared right their feelings for you. They feel I feel very intense about this connection, but I feel like they haven't really shared right um, with you on an emotional level right. Uh, where things are going or how they feel about you, okay? We're going to clarify. I feel like I want to clarify this Emperor card, um, and we may clarify the Star card there as well. Now, you have the Tower here, and you have the Seven of Wands. There's something I feel that happened, okay? So it could have been a blow-up. Right, there was something here that wasn't working between you and this person. It's definitely showing me here with the two of coin. There is something here that was imbalanced with this person, okay, and you, right? Uh, definitely, it's a back and forth energy. I'm going to say here this could be an on and off connection where the two of you, right, it's very intense, it's very passionate. But maybe, right, this person here doesn't really take any emotional responsibility for this connection, right? Um, we're going to see in a moment what the near future energy is, where things are going. But uh, let's clarify some of these cards. Why is the Emperor card here, please? Why is the Emperor card here, please? This could be an indication maybe why this person is, you know, has held back. Got the King of Swords. We have the Sun card. And look at that. King of Cups, your energy. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's this is somebody here who hasn't really communicated or shared with you, right, how they really feel here about the connection. Okay. And Ten of Swords here. So some of you, this, this connection may have ended because this is somebody who maybe couldn't have opened up with you right, with this tower card, um, somebody who, you know, definitely with the seven of wands could be somebody who's very guarded, but I also see the seven of wands here is working towards your destiny, right, overcoming obstacles, right, so it, it looks like the two of you can overcome this, we'll see what, what happens here, okay, so let's see this, why the star card is here, why is the star card, now all of you may not have had an ending, it can be that your person, you know, um, the, they themselves had something very hurtful or experienced a loss or a trauma in their past that they've had a hard time really opening up and being expressive or just being honest about, right, how they feel, why is the star card here, please? Okay, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands, okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck here is the Eight of Pentacles, all right. This person still has a very strong connection, and I'm sorry, Scorpio, I'm just going to take a moment here. It's very hot in here, and I need to turn on the air. Uh, let me just do that really quickly here. Okay, got it. Right, maybe it's just the intense energy I'm feeling because actually I put it lower than what I normally do. So maybe I'm just feeling that intense energy between you and this person. But you have here the Two of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands, and you have the Eight of Wands, okay? So whatever's going on with you and this person, some of you may be separated and some of you may not be. But I feel like this person here, um, they're going to figure it out, okay? I feel like they're going to get their emotions here in balance. Um, I do feel like they're still hopeful about this connection here. Uh, you have the Two of Cups. It shows me that they have mutual feelings for you, but they're not showing it here with that Nine of Wands, okay? They're kind of putting their walls up, right? Maybe even being a bit stubborn. But you have the Eight of Wands here as well, okay? So if you have not heard from this person, I feel like you're going to get communication. Now that may be the decision here, like I said, 
right? And you observing, has anything changed with this person? Because the lack of this person being their real self with you, the lack of this person being opening up to you may be why, right? I see this energy here. You're not too sure, right? If you want to be with this person, okay? Because I feel Scorpio, you know, when you're with someone, you're you're fiercely right protective and loyal and i don't feel like you know you're quite sure if this person is going to be the same way right or put in the effort and the work here with the eight of pentacles so let's clarify um actually i was going to do near future but i want to clarify the seven of wands why is the seven of wands and it can be too that something happened between the two of you and you don't know if you can get past it okay Let's clarify that seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here, please? That's why you're looking for things to change and you're gonna be very cautious, I feel, with this person. Let's see why that seven of wands is here. Okay, eight of swords, justice. Yeah, exactly what I said. You don't know if you're gonna be able to get past this or not. You have the empress here, okay? And you have the emperor. And I've been saying this in all the readings. I'm seeing a lot of unions. I'm seeing a lot of people returning. A lot of uh, divine partnerships. Okay. Showing up two, three times in the reading and in the extended. All right. So let's see what else we have. We have the eight of swords, the justice, and the knight of cups, Libra energy. We pretty much have all the energies on the board. I will say strong Cancerian, strong Aries, strong Libra here. Okay, so I feel here, uh, yeah, you're not forgetting. I feel, Scorpio, you're not forgetting about whatever happened, whatever this tower moment was. I feel it broke trust between the two of you, and you may even be looking for an apology, okay, is what I see there, right? Or maybe you feel you deserve an apology here. Let's see now what your near, your near future energy is here. Gosh, I'm just going to move these cards out of the way. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the near future energy here for Scorpio? What can you show Scorpio? What's the near future energy here for Scorpio? Because I feel with this chariot, too, some of you may even have decided to, like, move on or maybe look at other options, right? Okay, yeah, communication. You're going to get communication from this person. Knight of Swords energy, All right? Yeah, confirming that here. King of Wands, all right, yep. There's that King of Wands energy here, taking action, being assertive. You, I feel like you've got somebody, too, here who likes to be in control, right? Very typical of somebody who sometimes, you know, has a hard time being vulnerable or they can't open up. And it's not about gender. It's about the energy here. You also have here the Nine of Swords. Okay. Yeah. They're worried, okay? They're worried here about this tower moment. They're worried here, I feel, right, about coming towards you. And it may be that they know they have to open up. They know they have to change things, right? And here's the world card. Strong Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, and your energy, Scorpio. So I feel like this person knows. Yeah, look at that. There's the eight of coin. They know they got some work to do, Scorpio. <laughs> They know they got some work to do and they know they got to do it quickly here because they could lose you. Let's see why this uh, Nine of Swords is here, please. Why is the Nine of Swords here? What, what are they worried about? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Oh, you know what just came to me, Scorpio. They may be worried about the truth coming out with that truth be told. Now, it could just be their fear about, right, about um, their feelings, but maybe there's something else here. Let's see. All right, Four of Cups. Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups. Okay. All right. Yeah. Four, four of Pentacles here. So they're worried that you're going to hold back. They're worried here. They're not too sure, right? If you're going to accept their offer, what I see, they may be worried you have other op offers. And that's what I was saying here. I feel like this could be somebody who 
may feel like you're moving on, right? That you may be talking or seeing other people. Okay, I feel like this is someone too who could, who is um, maybe kind of a bit of a jealous type here. You have the Seven of Wands and you have the Five of Cups, okay? So this person knows that they may have disappointed you in some sort of way. And they're worried, right? That tower moment, broken trust, or, you know, could have been an argument. But they're not too sure if you're going to accept their offer and if you're going to get past, right, what happened here, okay? I just want to pull a few more cards, and then I'm going to take it to the extended. Uh, the intentions will be, right, a big factor in the extended, right, what this person's real intentions are. But what else can you show, Scorpio, here about this situation? Okay, so we have the hangman, hanging man. We have the knight of coin, and we have the knight of wands. And bottom of the deck here, we have the temperance. We have strong Sagittarius energy. Okay, so definitely showing end of delays here. This person is seeing things from a different perspective, okay? That's why I feel like they're coming in pretty quickly here. Knight of coin, they know they need to change things. That's kind of my change card as well. Um, but you also have here the knight of wands, okay? So this is someone here who may have been inconsistent in the past. Their inconsistency probably uh, you know, cause this tower moment here. They know they need to bring consistency to the table here with you. The right and temperance on the bottom of the deck and high priestess. Okay, I feel like there is something maybe that they're being secretive, Scorpio, about something they need to be honest about. And it, like I said, it just can be about their feelings. But I feel like what this is saying that in time, I feel like they are going to open up about it, but I don't feel like it's going to be right away. So I'm going to take it to the extended Scorpio. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.